Today's subject is the new movie about Dracula's servant Renfield. Too bad it was a big old flop and we won't get any more movies about often forgotten characters from the Bram Stoker novel. The Quincy Morris solo film has officially been removed from Universal schedule. In this movie, Renfield, who has been Dracula's servant for decades, decides he no longer wants to work with the Dark Lord anymore. After joining a supportive therapy group, he teams up with a cop named Dasani to take him down. Just in time, too, because Drac has decided to partner with the local New Orleans Italian Mafia for world domination. I'll uh, get right into it. This movie had one really great idea, and that is casting Nicolas Cage as Dracula. He is perfect for this role. You can tell he loves the character very much and wants to do justice to the novel and almost 100 years of classic movie performances. He's larger than life, he's theatrical, and he's clearly having a lot of fun. Unfortunately, it seems the filmmakers knew they had something good here with this casting choice and felt like they didn't need to try when it came to the writing. This movie's premise doesn't work on a fundamental level. Renfield is a difficult protagonist to sympathize with. He's not a madman. Overall, he's a fairly surprisingly level-headed and reasonable guy with a conscience. But he spent years sending presumably hundreds of people to their deaths so Drac can suck their blood, and I don't like that at all. There is an incredibly stupid line in this movie, I'm talking the single worst line of movie dialogue in 2023, in which uh, Aquafina says to Renfield, you're not a hero or a villain, you're just a guy who kills random people. That's a villain, dear lady. If someone who murders innocent people isn't a villain, then who qualifies? Renfield is supposed to be this helpless victim in this story, but I didn't buy it. He had Dracula's trust, he could have tried to kill him many times over the years, he even has this superpower that gives him crazy strength and agility when he eats bugs. Come on guy, it took you this long to decide to do the right thing? Deathbed conversions are lame, my friend, you should have lived your life better. The comedic deconstruction of vampires is so played out at this point with four Hotel Transylvania movies and the What We Do in the Shadows movie and TV show, and Renfield doesn't add much that's fresh or clever comedy-wise. The main joke of this movie is that it's cartoonishly violent, the laws of physics are out the window and blood and limbs leave their hosts in ridiculous fashion. It's not inspired or funny, it's no Evil Dead 2, that's for sure. At times, the movie feels like two movies crashed into each other, the cops and mobsters element and the vampire element don't mix very well. And the ending was incredibly lame and gave me Star Trek Into Darkness flashbacks, which is usually not a good thing. Overall, on the strength of Nicolas Cage's performance, performance alone, I'll be giving Renfield a 5 out of 10. The movie lights up when Cage is on screen, but he's not enough to overcome the weak premise and lack of fresh comedic insight. But if you haven't seen it, I would recommend the other Nicolas Cage vampire-themed movie, Vampire's Kiss, instead. A true masterpiece and much darker and funnier.